Romeo is claiming that Master P like basically didn't pay him for like 15 right, years yes, all over this. Now, if it's true, shame on you. You shouldn't have did that. Uh, there's underlying things to it. We're going to let Master P speak. When I try to call my son, people say, why you fucked in? He don't call back. It's been months. So my question is to Romeo. Like, if you've been in the business for long as you've been in, and you're a 30-something-year-old man, and if you've been around me, watching me hustle and do my thing, why you not where you want to be at? Now, hey, Officer Obadiah ain't going to say nothing. Officer Elijah, I'm not going to say nothing because we don't even got to guess what tribe this is. Play the clip, please. Oh, boy. Please <laughs> play the clip. Oh, we, oh. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. So this is their king. I ain't say he's not my king. It's their king, King their Charles. King, right. All right. King Charles, okay? Uh, now on, stop, hey, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> That's a lot of judo. No, 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 this is King Charles over here, <laughs> right? In uh, England, no. okay? I'm the judo from uh 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 uh. uh so I had to set it up. Now <laughs> go back, go back to the beginning of the clip, please. If we could turn the audio up, that would be grand. Mm. All right, All right go there. back. It's their King Charles, and now I want y'all to watch the clip. Pay close attention. Go ahead. Now notice, notice everybody is standing on their feet right now. Right. Okay. Play the clip. Wait, wait, wait. Why is she not standing no more? She look Ethiopian. Why is no. she not standing no more? Oh, my wait, Lord. Wait, wait, wait. Wow. Wait, wow. wait, first of all. Wow. Yeah. wow. She don't look good to y'all? No. Wait, no way. Wow. She from the yard, my All right. Hey, hey, real quick. Like I'll give you a calm. chance to speak for your tribe. Go, you go ahead. If you, if you got something to say, I'll let you speak. She don't look like she from Palm Bay Cat. She from the yard. But I'm just saying that she got the <laughs> fake hair and all of that. I'm just saying. Oh, he needs some milk. You can't put everyone on with a Benji fake. all the way, oh, man. God. Put a fake on a British accent on Benji. Man, it's a lot of <laughs> on the Judah in England and London. All right, all y'all Judites in London, chime in. Chime in, man. Y'all stand up for you. All right, all right. Obviously, no defense, but uh, what you just saw, that, that was sick, man. That was some sick stuff right there. Damn. You can't defend You seen that, all man. the other white people just standing and having a good right. time. This sister right here, goodness. Second, uh, you can't stand up for that. Nah, second Maccabees 4, man. This is, this is horrible. Yeah, that's terrible. Uh, give me the one in, uh, what's it, uh, Hosea 4? Without a uh, image, mm. yes, sir. give me that one first. That one just came to mind. Seeing that uh, coonery, 
right there. That is. All right, give me that. Hosea 4. It's like the last few verses. The book of Hosea, chapter 3 and verse 4. 3, verse 4. Thank you. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king. Right. That's what happened to us, man. That's 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 one of the curses uh, that came upon us for our, for our sin and our idolatry. It said we should abide many days without a king. Go ahead. And without a prince, and without a sacrifice, and without an image. And without an ephod. Right, to the point where now you got our, our Benjamin sisters. I mean, not Benjamin, Jamaican sisters. Is that better? <laughs> Jamaican sisters. <laughs> not Benjamin, Jamaican sisters right. bowing down <laughs> to Fake. King Henry. Hey, yo, All right. Right. Now Fake give me the one I call, Second Maccabees, because this hits it on the head right here. Watch this. The book of Second Maccabees, chapter 4 and verse 15. Go ahead. Not setting by the honors of their fathers. Right, because remember, we had our kings removed. All right, we had the image removed. So it said, not setting by the honors of our own people, our fathers. Go ahead. But like in the glory of the Grecians, best of all. Right. That's your, that's your Romans. That's your Europeans today. It say loving their glory, best of all, more than your own people. I guarantee she's married. Yeah. And she does. Ne she never, never bowed down to her husband. Yeah. Right. I can guarantee that thing right, right there. Because her God is the white man. That's right. And that's what a lot. That's how it is for a lot Damn, of sisters. They right. go to their job, you know, whatever the boss say. Hey, do me a favor. I know you yes, came early. Semi, Can you yeah. drive forty five minutes? Cause, cause I love Starbucks. Oh man. Okay, we got a call. Okay. I was <laughs> hey, sisters got <laughs> ready. I was about to go in. I was about to go in. Don't forget you. I'll hey. remind you. I'll remind you. <laughs> hey, shalom, shalom, most high Christ. Bless. What's your name? What's uh? Where you calling from? What's your question or comment? Uh, my name is Julius. Uh, I just wanted to make a comment. You guys is awesome. You guys are fire. You are the chosen uh, tri uh, 12 tribes of Israel. And I just want to let you know that uh, God is real. God is all just and loving. And uh, we know that we are God's chosen people because the light and the stars tell us that we are God's chosen people. We melanated beings. And I just want y'all to keep on doing what y'all are doing. Y'all are awesome. And y'all bring light to the community, man. Hey, all praise to the most. High. Thank you for the encouragement, all bro. It's, it's, we definitely appreciate it. Give the brother a round of applause, please. All right, I'll press to the most. I'll press to the most. Keep supporting, bro. Thank you. All right. Uh, back to the sisters. A lot of you sisters, <laughs> y'all would go to work. Because, you know, <laughs> work don't start till 8.30. They show up at right. 7. Right. They show up at yeah. 7. The boss rolling at 8.15. He say, oh, man, good to see you. I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm in the mood for bagels and coffee. <laughs> but I know we have a coffee shop right around the corner, five minutes, five minutes away. <laughs> Again, we got another one. Okay, maybe I'm not supposed to bring this out. Maybe I'm not supposed to bring it out. All right, All right we'll take the caller. Hey, hey, hey Shalom, caller. Start. What's your question or your comment? Hey, these sisters about to start calling in. I, I'm watching right now, Told and you. I just happened to see the game the last few minutes where I saw Kyrie. Okay, all praise. Right? Uh-huh. And then they went over to a Jewish man, and had a he had a colorful yarmulke like uh, Kyrie's. Colors in his his shirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just happened to catch it. Yeah. Okay, so you seen that? You seen it live? I saw it live. Okay, okay. <laughs> All praise to the Most High. And Lord, you know, Lord's will. The brother ain't following after Amalek, but at the end of the day, we don't put our stock in man. You know, so Lord's at least he's wearing fringes. You know, so Lord's will. You know. You know, he he follows the right example. But and hey, you know, thank, thank right. you for your support, sis. Thank you for calling in. All right. All right, shalom, my sister. All right. Um, all right. All right I'm going to fast forward. I'm going to stop taking so long. <laughs> all right, you show up to work early. <laughs> your boss show up. Your white boss, he tell you to go get coffee about 45 yeah, minutes to an hour. 45 minutes out. And it's, you, know, you know when the husband tell her to do something, she like, she like, hell no, nah, nigga. Do it why? yourself. <laughs> why? But she said, oh, of course. And don't worry. I'll pay for my own gas. And I'll pay for it. I will pay for the coffee and the donuts and the bagels. Boy, no That's way, how you boy. sisters be. Right. Shame oh, on yeah. you. Shame 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 shame, 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 shame. That's how it be. I ain't, I'm going to stop. I ain't going to turn it into, you know. <laughs> All right, but um, Kuna of the Week. What y'all got on this? What y'all got, officer? Hey, on one more. <laughs> hey, on one more to go with that. All right, if she was Benji, she was Benji, but she shouldn't be doing that. Give me Isaiah 51 and 22 and 23. All right, the, uh, all right, the most I already prophesied that this would happen, that we were on the bow down. Um, to bite on our soul on the, to these Edomites. I want to read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 51 and verse 22. Thus saith the Lord, the Lord, and thy God that pleaded the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling. 
even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink it again. Read. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul. That have said to your soul what? Bow down. Bow what? Bow down. Read. That we may go over. That you may go over. See, we lay our bodies on the to the ground on the but if we keep the commandments of God, all right, God is gonna reverse all of this right here. This is the point. All right, and we have to do what God says, or so we will stay in that same position. Finish out the scripture. And thou hast laid thy body as the ground. You laid your body as the ground. All right, and with healing <laughs> and we're walking towards the all right, so called Caucasian hey, man. Real quick, officer. Yes, think about how how many people they killed. You know, in, in their um, regime or whatever it may yes, be, right. when it comes to the continent of Africa, how many artifacts they stole, how many, how much gold they stole, wow. all said. of their wealth, it comes from Africa. Right. Message. Right. We got a call? Okay. Hey, Shalom Caller, what's your question or your comment? Hey. Hey, Shalom. Most time Christ blessed, uh, Cap. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Off the David. Uh, hey, on the Shalom, bro. Off the lines, uh, uh, and, and uh, also, but I don't think I saw off the Samson on that. Shalom, shalom. Okay, offers, yes, sir. Uh, I'm just calling in this brother Joe, but I you uh, out of Jackson, I you out of Jackson. I called, I ain't called in in a minute, you know. Yeah, yeah, I remember you. I remember you, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. You always call in and uh, give us encouraging words, man. I appreciate that That's thing. Right. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, um. Uh, I miss, I'm not going to, I got to go, I got to go on the Zoom, but I was just calling in, you know, the, uh, real fast, and make sure I make it short, but I want to just shit on everybody, you know, uh, that's on the, on the, uh, this is your place, man, it's time new, this is my, <laughs> <laughs> you know, all praise, all you know, praise, because, because, I would just say, yeah, like, you know, uh, I ain't taking no shots at Four Corners News, but I, I started to get my news here. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, it's, hey, hey, it's hey, bro, don't take no shots. Yeah, don't do no shots, no shots. Hey, all, giving all praise to the Most High, man. Hey, thank you. Yeah. Um, we do we got another caller. Okay. Hey, man, all brother praise. Joe, man, hey. thank you for always calling. We are gonna take this call, right, bro? Yes, sir. Stay all right, yes, Shalom. Hey. All right, they hung up. Oh, okay. Hey, Shalom, caller. What's your question or your comment? Long cap. Uh, this is Jethro from Kentucky. I was, I was hoping you was gonna mention about that menorah, the game that it wasn't even the right candlesticks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The nine, the nine, nine, the nine joint. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I, I, ain't, I ain't know if you was gonna. I mentioned it on my that Facebook because I'm live on Facebook, but I was hoping you was gonna say it. But you didn't say it though. But I just want to say it. <laughs> it's all good, bro. <laughs> it's all good, <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah, the, the real menorah. We we got the seven seven branches. That's all showing right. you they ain't the people. They the, they the counterfeits, right. man. Right. Hey, all praises, That's man. Right. Hey, hey, you have my back, right? You have my back, bro. I appreciate you. Yes, sir. Hey, all praise to the most high. Thank you for praise. calling in, man. Um, where was we at? Where was we at? Where, you were talking about the king. Yeah, 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 man. Stole all of his riches. They got all their riches and wealth from the continent of Africa. Right. Going this around stealing ridiculous. from our own people. And she got the nerve to bow down to this colonizer. Damn shame. Damn shame. Go back to Second Maccabees, please. Could you read Bring it verse on. 16? Right. Yeah, read verse 16. Watch this. The book of Second Maccabees, chapter 4 and verse 16. Come on. By reason whereof, so a calamity came upon them. Right, because our people did not reverence their own. Our people didn't reverence their forefathers, their leaders right, right. that God gave us. And they, they want a uh, glory at everything the white man do. That's why sore calamity came. That's why slavery happened. Right. That's why our sisters was raped. That's why our fathers was hung. All right. Understand that. Read that verse again, please. By reason whereof, sore calamity came upon them. Come on. For they had them to be their enemies and avengers. That's the issue. They had them to be their enemies. Obviously, your enemy, your uh, friend would not rape, rob, murder, and steal from you. Bring it up. Your enemy would do that. And the reason why she bowed down, because a lot of our people subconsciously, they just look at, please, master, don't hurt me. I love you. I'm trying yeah. to show that I love you. Please accept me. Well, he ain't going to accept you. Gosh, don't we got a lot of callers today. <laughs> All right, hey, uh, Shalom, caller, what's your question? Are you coming? I'm, I'm going to speed it up. Shalom, uh, I wanted to know, like, I was, I was just watching something, and they said, like, uh, you got to get baptized, bro. And I'm trying to figure out, like, if that's something I got to do because I want to be saved. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me First Peter chapter three verse twenty one. This is the baptism that the Bible is speaking of right here. All right. All right. First Peter chapter three verse twenty one, my brother. This is the baptism of Jesus Christ. Watch this. The book of First Peter's chapter three and verse twenty one. Come on. The light figure whereunto even baptism doth also now save us. Right. Baptism will do. Will give us an opportunity at salvation. Come on. Not the putting away of the filth of the flesh. It says not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, meaning what? Water baptism. Okay, that was only for a dispensation of time. Right. Okay. John will tell you that he decreased so Christ could increase. Read on. But the answer of a good conscience toward God. But the answer of a what? Good conscience toward God. How do you have a good conscience? When you start keeping God's commandments really quick. Acts 19. This this is it's gonna make it clear cut. Acts 19 and verse 3. Watch this. The book of Acts, chapter 19 and verse 3. Start at 2. Verse 2. Come on. He said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost? Since she believed. Read. And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. Right. They haven't received the Holy Ghost, which brings all things back to your remembrance. Why? Because they were following a different baptism other than Christ. It's gonna show you. Read. And he said unto them. Until what then were you baptized? So which baptized which baptism was you baptized under? Go ahead. And they said, unto John's baptism. They said unto John's baptism. Watch this, read on. Then said Paul. Come on. John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance. Come on. Saying unto the people that they should believe on him, which should come after him. You see that? John even told the people, say, Hey, there's somebody more mighty than me that you should believe. Who's that talking about? Jesus the Christ. Read That's on. That's right. That is. On Christ Jesus. Watch this, verse five. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. See, so so when they heard that you, the the baptism is now Christ baptism, they said, "All right, I'm going to put this water baptism behind me. Now I'm going to follow in repentance, uh, in the baptism of Christ." Right. All right. So it's all about you repenting, confessing your sins, and and now stepping into repentance as an Israelite. And now you got to keep God's commandments and the faith of Christ to inherit eternal life, my brother. All right. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Hey, all praise to the Most High. All right, do me a favor. Let's go to the next uh, article in Corner of the Week, please. Read that. NYC's bling Bishop Lamar Whitehead hit with federal charges for fraud schemes. Right. So this, hey, this, this ain't the first time he been in the news. Didn't he steal like money from that yes. that woman? Yeah, yeah that woman. Thousand yeah. dollars. Right. What is wrong? Right. What y'all got, officers? Go ahead. Hey, th th this is a perfect example of what um um they was talk the, the Bible was talking about in Ezekiel chapter thirty four verse two because these pastors out here they teaching these doctrines but they ain't teaching people how to get they're not teaching people how to um fix their lives how to um 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 change the whoredom in their life stop smoking and and start coming to God's commandments that's what God tell the pastor to teach read that for me the book of Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 2 son of man Prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. The shepherds represent the pastors. So God is telling us to prophesy against these pastors, these wicked behind pastors. Read. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus said the Lord God unto the shepherds, Woe be to the shepherds of Israel. Woe means destruction. God said prophesy to the pastors of the world, the pastors that we're looking at, um, um, Creflo Dollar, um, all of these pastors, T.D. Jakes. The, Jakes, all of these pastors that are preaching this prosperity doctrine and not teaching God's commandments. God said destruction to them, read. That do feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? Why are they sending million dollar mansions while the um, people living in the projects? The people living in mid middle class, barely making their own um, homes. Now, officer, now check this out, though. If, okay, because we, I remember it was like two months ago or something like that we went over this. This is my issue with the congregation. Because you, you're talking about, yeah, preach against the pastor, prophesy against him like the scriptures command us, right? So it's, it's, it's mind-blowing that they know that he stole $90,000 right. from that sister, but they didn't call him out on it. Right. That's, that's the issue. All right, for example, even with us, sometimes, guess what? People amongst us, they sin, but we don't sit there and turn a blind eye. We judge the matter within ourselves. That's what the Christian church has not done at, out of all of these years. Right. That's why y'all are hypocrites and that's why you're at fault. Because y'all let that man continue to sit up there and be the bishop of your church when you know he stole $90,000. Right. That's the issue right there. Um, yeah, excellent point. Uh, give me the one in Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 5. It says don't keep company. It's like 9 or 10. With You got it? All right, read that for me, please. Yeah, come on, read it. The book of 1 Corinthians, 
Chapter. F- oh Lord, what don't happen to the reader? The book of First Corinthians, chapter five and verse eleven. But now I have written it to you, not to keep company. If any man that is called the brother, can I hear ten? Let me hear ten real quick. Verse ten. Yet not altogether with the fornicators of this world, or with the covetous, or extortioners, or with idolaters, for they must, for they must ye needs go out of the world. Read. But now I have written unto you not to keep company. If any man that is called a brother be a fornicator, or covetous, or an idolater, or an, or a railer, or a drunkard, or an extortioner, or what? Extortioner. An extortioner. An extortioner. Hey, that's that's their issue because they allowed this extortioner to sit up there and continue to uh, reside as the bishop of that church. Shame on y'all. Shame on y'all. That's why the scriptures say you got to study to show yourself approved. Right. Right. You're going to the the, the Lamar Whitehead guy for everything, but you're not studying the scriptures yourself. You would have saw that uh, Ezekiel 34. You would have seen that. Right. All right. Read on. With such an one. No, not to eat. Come on. For what have I do to judge them also that are without? Yeah, this this is what I wanted to get to. Watch this. Read on. Do not ye judge them that are within. Right. It says, aren't you supposed to judge those who are within the body? Yep. Wow. And and the Christian church has failed to do that. That's why I don't. Hey, all of these church businesses. I've been talking to brothers in other camps. You go to these churches, ain't nobody there. Right. right. And, they, and, and now they want to have these different seminars and these different sessions trying to study on how to defeat the Israelites. Well, you wouldn't have had to do that if y'all was teaching the root, the true gospel. That's, That's right. right. If y'all was judging righteously and you not because you got pedophiles up there in the, in, the, in the pulpit. Right. You got extortioners up there in the pulpit. Right. And y'all not Jesus. judging the matters according to God's commandments. Shame on you. Right. Y'all need to repent and wake up to who you truly is. And you know that's hey, right. For the sake of time, right. let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one, and we get into the rundown. Yeah, man, sad news, man. Little Romeo, Master P, make him say. Master P? You know, I grew up on, you know, Master, Master P. P. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, Ro- Romeo came later. You know, Romeo was cool or whatnot. Little Romeo. <laughs> but now... But now you see Lil Romeo beefing with his they father. Beefing, yeah. All right, it's one thing to beef with your father. All right, you have the uh, you have a difference, but you're beefing with your father in the midst of everybody. Right. Mm-hmm. You're trying to you're trying to beef. Come so on let, now, let's dog. let's read that. Even if even if what he did was true, that's still not the way you're supposed to go about it. Right. That. So Lord's will, Romeo Miller, hear that, and he you know come out and make amends and apologize for what he's doing to his father. Cause think about it, bro. I if you're going to disrespect your father in the open, what that say about you? Right. right. Yeah, exactly. You got to think about That's the dumb members, too. They start speaking evil of the bishops and deacons and captains. Well, you're an idiot because you, you follow. Right. How ten, stupid is that? You learn for 10 years and then you say. Oh, he was like, well, <laughs> you're pretty stupid. That's stupid. <laughs> yeah. You understand? So, don't, you know, don't do that. Let's, let's get to the article real quick. Read that for me, please. Romeo Miller, Romeo Miller says he promoted a company for free for 15 plus years. And was never paid or saw a contract. All right. Go to while many. Go ahead. While many argue that their approach and trage- trajectories trajectories differ, trajectories differed, no one can deny the impact the two had on culture. From becoming the face of 106 in part to going to lead the Nickelodeon show, Romeo, Lil Bow Wow, and Lil Romeo were significant parts of the artistic su- success the 2000s ball. Now, drop down a little bit more. Nobody cares about Bow Wow right now. It's not about him. <laughs> all right. Uh, read that, how it all began. How it all began. Recently, Romeo, Romeo Miller and his father, Master P, have been engaged in a little social media back and forth surrounding family issues personal personas and business deals and while many believe that the details regarding all they've discussed should have remained private issues Mm -hmm. the world became privy to further information about miller's long-standing relationship with the popular chip brand rap snacks right y'all know about rap snacks man i ain't gonna lie i never had them are they good i never had them judah had some raps i know i've never had rap snacks anybody in the comments said y'all had rap snacks let us know how they was i never had them all right but yeah we know i seen them i seen them so All they're right. pretty good, Cap. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I knew you ate some rap snacks. Yeah, man, they flavor. Trying to front, man. Yeah, bro, they flavor. Wait a minute. So, a <laughs> all right, so that's Master P's <laughs> brand or whatever. So Romeo's saying he was part of the business, too. Which, I mean, I'm not surprised, right? Yeah. Go back to the article. Come on, y'all. Uh, read that part. Rap Snacks was founded. Go ahead. Rap Snacks was founded in 1994 by James Lindsay. 
Complex purports that Romeo Miller purchased Rap Snacks in 2007 for an undisclosed amount after becoming the face of the brand with his barbecue Quinn with my favorite with my with my honey flavor. So for the sake of time, because we got to get back on track, Romeo is claiming that Master P like basically didn't pay him for like 15 right, years yes, yeah. all over this. Now, if it's true, shame on you. You shouldn't have did that. Uh, there's underlying things to it. We're gonna let Master P speak. Go ahead and pull up Master P's response. Um, because he thought it was originally about his daughter because his daughter passed because she had, you know, basically she, she was going through some things she, and she was suicidal or whatnot, right? So Romeo said that was like the boiling point when his father made a, a tweet about the DJ on Ellen's show that just killed himself. Mm. Basically saying how insensitive you to say something about him. But when my sister was going through it, you wasn't there or whatever, right? right? right. Now, hey, don't get it twisted. Hey, there could be some truth to that thing. But at the end of the day, give me the one in uh, Proverbs 16 and 20. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 20, man. And then I want Sirach 3. And then we're going to let uh, P speak. I'm sorry, man. You know, you grew up on Master P. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, read what you got. Percy the book Miller. of Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 20. Go ahead. He that handleth the matter wisely shall find good. Right, right, right. You got to handle the matter wisely, man. Matter wisely. And you'll find good. Now, play the clip with P. And then we'll go to Ciroc, uh 3. Yes, sir. Watch this. It's a sad day because I got to get out of character and put this on the internet, which I don't want to do. But I try to call my son. People say, why you call? I did. He don't call back. It's been months. So my question is to Romeo. Like, if you've been in the business for as long as you've been in, and you're a 30-something-year-old man, and if you've been around me, watching me hustle and do my thing, why are you not where you want to be at? Because that means you're not listening. That means you want to do your own thing. You don't Stop. your own Hey, now what it sounds like to me is Romeo started feeling himself. Right, yep. That's and he wanted to have his own circle. And he, he, he about to mention that thing. Now, Romeo could come out, he could say that. But, bro, we all understand when 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 you grow up and men start feeling themselves, they don't want to listen to Pops no more. Right. Nobody. So Pops is like, Okay, bro, if you're not finna listen, I ain't finna pay you, bro. You go do your own thing. Right. Meaning what? Romeo didn't come up like us. Right. Romeo, he he came from money. And the yes. good life, yeah. Yeah, he hey, had you know that's right. A little spoiled. You know he's spoiled because he ain't work for nothing. Yep. He benefited from Master P's hustle. Exactly. Master P started off selling CDs out of tr his trunk. Exactly. I can tell you the story. He was in Cali. You right. feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I know about P, bro. I was a big fan. But he went up against Suge, didn't he? Yeah, man. Yeah, a lot of people don't know the story yeah. of Master P, man. He did hustle. <laughs> I'm not saying it was righteous. Right. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> but like you're saying, Romeo don't know about that. Right. So Romeo, it sounds like his father saying, hey, you want to act brand new? All right. Take care of yourself then. Now, he want to get mad and be a spoiled brat. Say, oh, my daddy ain't pay me. But Romeo, what did you do for yourself? That's right. what P's saying. Go back to it real quick. Circle, your own circle of people, but you can't get mad at me because I really thought this was about the only reason I entertained. Hey, run it back like ten media. seconds, please. Months. So my question is to Romeo. Like, if you've been in the business for long as you've been in, and you're a thirty-something-year-old man, and if you've been around me, watching me hustle and do my thing, why are you not where you want to be at? Because that means you're not listening. There that it means is. You want to do your own thing. Yep. Go ahead. You done brought your own circle, your own circle of people, but you can't get mad at me because I really thought this was about the only Stop. Reason I That's what it hand. is. He got brand new. Right. He got brand new, started bringing his own people in, aside from how his father was rolling, and now he don't turn against his father, man. Lord have he, mercy. He must have got, like you say, he got beside himself and thought that his success was because of what he was doing, not realizing his, his father opened come on doors now. for him. Romeo, come on, bro. It ain't right. you, bro. It's Master P. Come right. on. Everybody know that, bro. Um, but this go back to the Willie Lynch letter too, Cap. All right, pitting the young against the old. Man, mm -hmm. our people, I don't love to see this type of drama and stuff like that. Young boys on the start smelling themselves and they get spoiled and out of pocket. And now they just on the go against the one who created them, basically created mm -hmm. them. So come on, man. That's the same. That's uh, Isaiah 3. Give yes, me that sir. against the ancient. Give me that real quick. I ain't looking at it. Come on, Rita. Isaiah 3. Proud against the ancient. Mm -hmm. Rita. Oh, Lord. All right. At least talk to me. Let me know what you're you looking for. Are you, is you in Isaiah 3? 
Oh, okay, you're not seeing it. All right. Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 5. The book of Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 5. Come on. And the people shall be oppressed, every one by another, and every one by his neighbor. Watch this. The child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient. And that's what you see right there. The yeah. child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient. Read. And the base against the honorable. Now give me uh, Sirach 3 and 5. The book of Sirach. Chapter 3 and verse 5. Come on. Whoso honor of his father shall have joy of, of his own children. Right. So, hey, what you teaching your children? You, bro, everybody saw what you did, Romeo. Everybody seen it. Your father said, hey, you started acting brand new, bringing in your own people, and you wasn't listening. Right, right, That's the yeah. key. Bro, why you think you all that money? That's your father's money. Right. Okay? Exactly. So then, get, okay, get from under him and go do your own thing. But don't right. cry right. and right. now speak evil of your father and bring shame. Right. All right? Uh, read on. And when he maketh his prayer, he shall be heard. Uh-huh. He that honoreth his father shall have a long life. Come on. And he that is obedient unto the Lord. There it is. See, that's the thing. He wasn't being obedient. Now he brung, he brung shame to his household. Right. Hey, real talk, I'd like to go in more about that situation because it is a damn shame. You know, uh, that's not how you go about it, bro. That's shameful. You bring right. shame to your house, your father. Yep. You understand? I know y'all ain't repent, but at the end of the day, man, have some have some dignity. Have some care about right, your own, man. Right. That ain't the way to do it right there. Shame on you. Yep. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Is you. And finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord.